Yeah, come on, Candy. Let's go, Candy. Yeah, let's go, Candy. Let's. Go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your little bell. Today I'm gonna talk to you guys about the time that my boyfriend and I broke up. If you guys are returning subscribers, don't get scared. We're just gonna talk about the very first breakup that my boyfriend and I had. If you guys don't know, we have five years together, so don't get scared still together. This is just gonna be a story time of when we broke up. So this happened just a few months after we began dating. And I just hope that I don't forget nothing and I just hope that I can explain this good because I don't have no notes. I'm just recording right now without even going over what I'm gonna say. So this was about I believe about two or three months. Honestly, I have no idea. I think about like two or three months after we began dating. So what happened was that Facebook, social media is where all the drama is at, is where everything begins. We stay away from social media because social media can be toxic, social media can break a relationship, social media can destroy so many things. So if you don't have social media, don't even guess how many guys are good. It was through Facebook. This guy that I didn't even know existed. I didn't even know who he was. He messaged me and apparently he knew that I was dating Adrian. So he was like, Oh, I just wanted to let you know to keep the cards up because my girlfriend cheated on you with your boyfriend. So I just wanted to let you know so you know. I forgot how to speak really loud because you sometimes complain about the audio. And honestly, I feel like you're in front of me, so like, I'm just like kind of whispering low. I need to change that. Okay, so even though it was maybe in the beginning of our relationship, I feel like something from my throat just dropped down to my heart because I didn't see this coming. Of course, you know, people, his friends have told me, you know, he's a player, you know, he just uses girls, he's like this, he's like that. But when I talked to him, he just looked so sincere and that's why I decided to go out with him because he was just like, you know, not like that, you know how people are. I promise you that I'm not like on it, but any other guys. And that's just because I took his word, but also because of how he was with me, the things he did for me. He was just so different, you guys. He did things that many guys would not even do. He said things that other guys would be so embarrassed to do in front of his friends or whatever. I did not expect this from him. I heard the words about him, but I didn't see it. I was not going to judge and decide whether or not to go out with somebody based on what I hear, but rather based on the person that I see standing in front of me. A lot of times we could hear so many things that are not even true. People like to spread rumors and stuff, and even if it was true, he changed and he was not like that with me, you know? And so I didn't see this coming. I was just so shocked, like, oh my God, you know? I was just like, how, how does this guy know you know me, I don't even know him. His name doesn't even sound familiar. I just, I just texted my boyfriend, which he's so and so done to do. I just break up with somebody because somebody else tells you that his girlfriend told him he, if you see Kate, your boyfriend, you know, and with no proof. As you guys can tell, it was my longest relationship, so I'm, I was new to this and I just went ahead and broke up with my boyfriend. He was just like, no, it's not true. I was just, be like a heartbroken girl. Like, I'll be like, no, F you, you know, stay away from me. You know, everything people were saying is true about you. Stop texting me, this and that. He was like, no, it's not true. I don't even know what you're talking about. That BNTCH has always wanted me. She has always tried to get with me, and I just don't want her. She's nasty. It's telling me, you know, like, that's not true. She has always tried to get at me, and I just don't like her because I don't want to say her name, but she's a white girl, and everybody in our city knows about her, and there's two type of people. One, they either stay away from her because she's just a really big whoa, or two, they join the club and go on to, you know, do their thing. 
with her. So um, she just swung them around here with a terrible, terrible reputation. And let's just call her, let's just call her, let me think about it so it's not obvious. Abby, there you go, Abby, okay. So everybody knows about her and I kind of knew who she was and she doesn't give a very good first impression. I didn't know her, but I've seen her and I met her. That's what I'm trying to say. She's supposedly bi, so I was like, why well, you know, I know that she's capable of doing that, so I was just believing it. And my boyfriend was calling me and calling me and calling me and I was just, you know, acting like a, like a bad ass, like, in hell, no, you know, I've never gotten cheated, and you are not going to be the first one to cheat on me. And I was just, like, acting so hard. I was accepting his calls and not texting him back. And what helped me to not cry was because I had a wedding with my mom to go to. So obviously, you know, I was ready. I couldn't be crying. You know, I'm about to go out somewhere with my mom. I don't want her to know what's going on. By surprise, you guys, somebody knocks. And guess who it was? He shows up. He shows up and he's just there, you know. What surprised me was that he started to cry. That shocked me. Like, I've never seen a guy cry for me. It was just like, I didn't know how to react to that. I'm like, oh yeah, you're acting like the victim, okay? Drop some tears. I already know it's true, you know, I had that message right here. And he was like, well, I had a text. Just please hear me out, you know, like listen to me. I'm like, no, you don't even have proof. And he was like, actually, I do. And he did have a text. And it was from the Abby girl. He had texted her. And he was like, wow, you know, like cousin her, like, what, the, what the heck are you saying that? We, we slept together, that's so not true. And now my girlfriend broke up with me and she, and she was like, she replied it. <laughs> yeah, so she was just like, you know, like laughing about it, like, ha, ah, that's what you get because you never wanted to get with me, you know, like, that's what I wanted, I wanted to end your relationship. That was all it took, you know. I just needed some proof and I got it. She was just crying and crying and crying, telling me like, no, like, I really love you. I never feel like this for any other girl. You know, like, girl I've been looking for. I promise you that's not true. I never did anything. I don't know why you don't want to talk to me. I don't know why you don't want to hear me. And he brought, like, a little teddy bear that I gave him, like, on the first month on every story. He's like, can you look? And he got it out of his backpack. He's like, look what I have. And that touched my heart, you know. I was like, oh, my God. He was like, on the way coming over here, I was hugging him. I was hoping that it gave me luck to get back with you. He talked to me and he showed me proof. And later on, I thought about it. I was like, wow. I cannot believe I would rely on some message from some person that I've never heard before. And I cannot believe I would go ahead and know how people are and just believe what I read without even talking to my boyfriend, without even having any real proof. I, afterwards, I feel like a little time, like, oh my gosh. And after he showed me the text from that one girl saying, like, laughing at him, like, ha, 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 sorry, that's what you get for rejecting me. I told you I was going to give you back. I just feel really dumb. And so, like, my mom ended up coming home and she's like, and she's like, oh, is he coming with us? I'm like, yeah, he's gonna go to the wedding with us. She had no idea what a crazy day I had had. And she had no idea that my boyfriend had just been crying. So we like ended up going to the wedding. Knew a perfect couple. It's so hidden. We hit it so well, you know, and I never found out. Like we had it just broken up and we barely got back together. So she had no idea. I wanna tell you guys, if you guys are dating somebody, or if you guys are planning on dating someone, my advice from you guys is just that uh, if you love somebody, you know, don't pay attention to what people are saying around you. Don't pay attention to what you've heard, what you know, what people say, if people don't agree with your relationship. Just go ahead and do what you feel is right from your heart. If you love him, life is too short. Take a chance. And just be cautious if you have heard something bad. That was like our breakup story. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did and you guys want to know more, and if you guys want more story times, like I have so many, like, um, let me think about good ones. 
I don't know if you guys believe in witchcraft, but that has happened to me. They actually tried to do it on my mom, but it ended up to me. But yeah, there's so many things that I can share with you guys, but let me just know if you guys do enjoy story times, if you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, you guys know that I will be able to tell by giving me a thumbs up. Comment down below, you guys. If you guys like to share with me anything like, maybe about your first breakup, maybe about some HOE getting in between your relationship. Oh, I just want to say thank you because. Mommy, you want that? No. Hey. Oh, oh. I just want to say thank you because, and you guys are so open to me, and I just want to keep it like that. You know? I just love reading and like reading stuff that you have. You guys have to tell me like. One of you guys share with me about you having a miscarriage, and one of you guys share with me about that you have two kids that were adopted by your grandmother and you haven't been able to see them. And I just love reading that, not only because it makes me feel like a connection with you guys, but because you know, it's good to share stuff with each other. You guys are never alone. Everything you're going through, somebody else has gone through. And just so you guys know that I'm here for support, if you guys ever need somebody to talk to you, you guys know I'm here. And I just want to say thank you for sharing a lot of personal things. You guys know I read every single comment and I try to reply to all of them. But if you guys want to, you guys, you know, comment about anything. How about you guys comment about the worst relationship you have had? Your worst boyfriend. So, guys, we love you guys. Remember that God loves you. And remember... Don't let no HOE get in between you and your relationship. Don't let a HOE destroy your relationship. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video.